All right, hello everybody. Today we are at Red Rock Canyon State Park here in California. Uh, we stopped off here at uh, Jawbone Station just, uh, you know, to check it out, see what's going on. And uh, we'll continue on up the road and see what all we can find. So you, you can see why they call it Red Rock Canyon. You can see here the rock has a nice shade of red to it. Um, you know, a little bit, it's a little darker brown. But here again, this reddish rock, I think probably a lot of iron in it. Hence the name. So here on the south side facing mountains you can find them. You can't see them up here because we're at the top. But down here on this hillside and even over there, there are some. But the moment you get up here to the top and once you transition on the other side, the north side, nothing. None of them are over there. It grows since we're like over 2,000 feet in the Mojave Desert. It freezes at night. It can snow here. And in the summer, it gets blazing hot. These are able to survive. They're quite widespread through the upper Mojave and into, into just California, but they also go into Arizona. They get, they get flowers, and their spines are really sharp, just like a feral cactus. But Unlike a feral cactus, you can see it has this white woolly, so they call it cotton top sometimes. And uh, it, it, it clusters. The feral cactus, the feral cactus rarely clusters. So that's how you can tell them apart. Plus, I think the spines on this are paler and the skin is more blue. But they're really cool. We hiked up this friggin' steep ass hill to take pictures of them. Here's a nice question one. and. They only seem to grow on the south east or south side of these hills. You won't find them on the north side. So I think there's another really nice one there. There's a colony up here, about halfway up this up this hill. I gotta think this is volcanic uh, soil of some kind. It's a Mojave, so it's, it's, it's not limestone. There's a, a dead one, dead cluster. Probably too much sun, you know, maybe not enough water at one point, but uh, he's just going to sit here from now on and you can see there's already some holes in it, probably for little creatures, mice, or wet lizards that can come in there and escape from the sun. This is a, a rare find these days. This is Sclerocactus polycystris. This is the Ma Mojave fishhook cactus. It has long spines and big red flowers. Now, there used to be a whole bunch of these here, and they all died. I think insects ate them, but look, this one survived, and hopefully we'll find some more. I'm tired of seeing the dead skeletons of them. This is a nice find right here. Look at that. Beautiful cactus, hard to grow, uh, but I, I think people can, advanced collectors can grow them on a graft. I, I don't even bother. I leave them out here. This is where they like it. Another one of those Mojave fish hooks. Sclerocactus polycystris. Nice clump. Kind of protected by this creosote bush. That's two, so that means they will survive. I mean, there used to be hundreds of them here, and then I think bugs eat them. They get wiped out. I believe they grow pretty fast. Uh, I don't really know. But uh, two. We found two. Uh, a lot of dead opuntia. So this this desert, this drought, it's not been kind to the Mojave Desert. The opuntia vasilaris, most of these are dead. This one's barely hanging on. A couple more days, it's gonna rain here. So they will get winter rain and some summer rain. Unlike some of the other deserts, which is all summer rain. These get winter and some snow. So it's hold on a couple more days and uh, you might be happy. Nice little cone right here. South, south facing hill, it's like 2,300 feet. So just for a bit of idea of how far we are, way down there is where we came from. That's our car. 
we had to hike all the way up this hill and we still had to hike yeah it is is definitely not easy and the cactus were right over this sort of dip down there because i'm old and i did it 